Hey guys, how's it going? This video is to address the brightness buttons problem with Windows 10. I just recently bought this computer and my computer brightness was set down really low and no matter what I did in settings, I couldn't make the brightness come up. So I contacted HP and they told me how to fix the problem. So I figured I'd just make a quick video and show you guys what I did. So first you just come down and you want to go into your device manager. And right now, like when you hit the volume buttons, the volume comes up there. But when you hit the bright, I'm hitting the brightness buttons and nothing is happening. So first, what you want to do is you want to come to the monitors tab. And you just click on that, double click on that. And you want to go to driver. And you want to hit enable device. Hit OK. And when you cancel out of this, the brightness buttons work. And that's what the lady told me a lot of time. That's what the problem is. But with my computer, that actually did not work. So what I had to do is you go into the device manager. And here, we'll make this bigger. And right here, under display adapters, there was a warning icon in the corner of the screen right here. And when you click on that, you click on your graphics card. Double click on it. And everything looked fine, but where it says the device is working properly, that was blank. So I had to go to driver, you uninstall the device. You hit uninstall, hit OK, and then when that comes back, you, re you come back to this screen and you reinstall the device. When it reinstalls, it puts an update on there that is not on the update driver tab. So you uninstall it, reinstall it. And you come in and make sure that it's enabled and everything works fine. So when you come back in after you reinstall it, this disable device obviously will be disabled. So you just hit enable. And after I did that, the brightness buttons worked fine. And that's how I fixed it. She said a lot of times it's the monitor. But... She said there's the those few cases where it's actually the graphics card. It didn't when they programmed the computer, it didn't install fully. There was some kind of problem. So you just have to reinstall it, install it, and enable it, and everything should work fine. Yeah. Do it! Just